The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. Make every effort to come and see me as soon as you can. As it is, Demas has deserted me for love of this life and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Bring Mark with you. I find him a useful helper in my work. I've sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus and Troas and the scrolls, especially the parchment ones. Alexander the coppersmith has done me a lot of harm. The Lord will repay him as his deeds deserve. Be on your guard against him yourself because he has been bitterly contesting everything that we say. The first time I had to present my defense, no one came into court to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed for all the Gentiles to hear. And so I was saved from the lion's mouth. And our response is from Psalm 145. All your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might, making known your mighty deeds to the children of Adam, the glory and majesty of your kingship. Your kingship is a kingship forever. Your reign lasts from age to age. Yahweh is trustworthy in all his words and upright in all his deeds. Upright in all that he does, Yahweh acts only in faithful love. He's close to all who call upon him, all who call on him from the heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself would be visiting. And he said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to do his harvesting. Start off now, but look, I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves. Take no purse with you, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, let your first words be peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what's put before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord.